When I received the call from the foundation, it was really a shock. I couldn't believe that what was being told to me on the phone. Uh, I immediately thought it was a mistake. I'm not a photographer. And then I realized it was serious, it was true, and I felt incredibly happy and incredibly proud. Uh, the, the people that came before me with this prize are just extraordinary uh, photographers, extraordinary artists, extraordinary uh, producers of culture. Well, actually, when I got the prize, I immediately thought about Moriyama Daido. He's a good friend, and I, I'm a big fan, a big admirer of his work. He, I mean, I can't believe I got the same prize and he did. He's really an extraordinary photographer. I was very happy when he got it. I thought it was about time that he got it. Uh, I will never match his his vision, his uh, scope of photographic uh, achievements. So I first thought about him. And then I thought about the Bakers. And I thought about Susan Maicelas, William Klein, so many others. So what is photography? That is really the question I've um, tried to answer all my career. I've, I've always felt that photography is a futile attempt, is a failed attempt to represent reality. I think reality cannot be represented. We can only create a new reality, and that's what makes photography so important. And uh, it's such a responsibility to be a photographer because you are creating a new reality in this world. And there is this huge gap between reality and what is being represented what is being recreated anew. And so I'm interested as an artist that uses photography that is interested in the politics of images, I'm really always focusing on that gap, that gap that exists between reality that cannot be represented and this new representation, this new reality that has been created by the photographer or the artist. And so I have no answers for this question, and that's why I'm an artist. I, I keep searching for that answer. Well, I think my, my interest in photography was very natural because I'm an architect. I never studied art, I never studied photography. I'm an architect that makes art. And for an architect, context is everything. And so photography has been always a way for me to understand a context, to understand the history, to understand the memory, and to document what's there before I act. My, my modus operandi has always been the same. I will not act in the world before understanding the world. So in a way, photography has, has been the tool for me to understand the memory of a site, to understand the history of the site, and to understand the present of a site, and to document uh, possible futures of that site. So it has been a very, very, extraordinary and efficient tool for me in my work.